Hello students, welcome to CS Academy. In this session, we will discuss the most important topic uh, that is homogeneous and isotropic materials. This is the one of the best assumption in the theory of simple bending and many students have doubt that uh, what is the exact difference between homogeneous and isotropic materials. We will see in this uh, session. Please watch this uh, video till the end uh, you will get a very good information. Okay. Here, to understand the physical meaning of uh, homogeneous and isotropy, let us consider one cubical structure like this. One cubical structure like this. This is the cubical structure. And in that cubical structure, I am considering three points. I am considering three points like this. That is the point 1. And then let us consider this is point 2. And let us consider this is point 3. Okay. Here, let us consider the material properties are like uh, Young's modulus, bulk modulus, shear modulus are like uh, different properties are also there. Here uh, among them, I am just considering one uh, property that is uh, Young's modulus here. Okay. Let us consider the Young's modulus uh, for this uh, cubical structure at point 1 in x direction is Ex1. Okay. Here this is the x direction, this is y direction and this is z direction. Okay. And if you see the Young's modulus of this uh, body at point 1 in x direction is Ex1. Okay. If we see in y direction that is uh, Ey1 and in z direction that is uh, Ez1. Okay. That is at point 1 the Young's modulus in x direction is Ex1 and Young's modulus in y direction is Ey1 and Young's modulus in z direction is Ez1. Similarly, if you see in two second point that is also Ex2, Ey2 and e z2 similarly here also e x3 e y3 and e z3 okay here to understand the concept of homogeneous and isotropic i will write uh, like this the first one is uh, homogeneous homogeneous material okay homogeneous material here for homogeneous material the condition is e x1 equal e x2 equal e x3 okay from this condition i will define the homogeneous materials please listen carefully here from this condition i will explain the homogeneous material okay here what is the e e is nothing but of material property okay the material property is equal i am equating 3 yes or no in x1 x1 and x2 and x3 that means at different points okay at a different points in a particular direction the direction is x direction okay or we can also write it as y e y1 that is called e y2 that is called e y3 okay here in y direction all material properties are equal yes or no like that the the definition i am uh, defining here the material property okay the material property here i am considering the Young's more or less the material property is same okay same means i am equating that is same the material property is same okay at all points whatever i am considering the points here point 1 2 3 at all points that is 1 comma 2 comma 3 1 comma 2 comma 3 in particular direction in particular direction that may be in x direction or in y direction or in z direction okay here we can also write it as ez1 equal ez2 equal ez3 that is material property that is x modulus or shear modulus whatever it may be the material property is the same at all points in a single direction in a particular direction okay that property is called homogeneous okay if uh, this condition is satisfied satisfied by the material then that material is called homogeneous material okay i hope you got the point here and the second one is uh, isotropic material okay isotropic means here for isotropic also i will write one condition isotropic material okay for isotropic material the condition is e x1 equal e y1 equal e z1 that means at a single point at a single point that is uh, if you take a uh, first point you can also write this as e x2 equal e y2 equal e z z2 and uh, 
e x3 equal e y3 equal e z3 like this at a single point the material property that is the material property is uh, same in all directions that is x direction y direction z direction okay if i define a uh, isotropic material this is the condition i can define like this the material property that is x more or less is same in all directions all directions that is x direction y direction z direction in all directions is same in all directions at a at a particular point at a particular point that is first point or second point or third point okay if you remember these two points we can easily define the homogeneous and isotropic materials if this condition is satisfied by the material that material is called isotropic material uh, this is a total about the uh, homogeneous and isotropic materials and i hope uh, you got the point uh, exactly here and uh, if you have any doubt uh, please comment in the comment box and please like the videos share to your friends and thank you for watching my video thank you